What's up, Buttercup? In this video, we're talking about blockchain technology. So this is a very important concept to understand because it is the backbone behind cryptocurrencies, smart contracts, honestly, the whole world of Web3. So I'm excited to talk about it. Blockchain is a type of technology that stores and records data. Its purpose is to eliminate the need for a middleman to facilitate digital relationships. I'm gonna get into what this means and how it all works. Let's start with a block. A block is a collection of data. It can be a record of transactions, it can be smart contracts, documents, files. Let's use Bitcoin for example. Each block on the Bitcoin blockchain is a financial ledger, which is a collection of financial accounts. Each block contains a timestamp, so the records are encrypted in time. Blocks also have a finite amount of storage, so when one block fills up, it has to be added to the network. This process is called being mined. I'm gonna have a whole video going into this topic because it is a little complicated, but this mining method is called proof of work, which is used for Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's a slow energy draining process. There are new methods that have been developed that are a lot more efficient. And again, I will have whole videos about that, like proof of stake. So why would people want to mine Bitcoin and participate in this process? Well, because they earn Bitcoin to be a part of the network. Okay, let's summarize so far. Whoever solves the block finds the hash which gets the reward and that new block is added to the network. An important thing to note is the next block's hash or password is calculated using the hash from the previous block. This is where the entire magic of the chain comes in because if you wanna change one block, it affects all the other blocks beforehand. The result is a ledger of data, in Bitcoin's case, a record of transactions that cannot be changed and that are encrypted in time. So a key feature of the blockchain is that it is decentralized. We keep coming back to this word. So let me explain how this works. A centralized organization would be like a traditional bank, where one entity has the power to control your funds, view your funds, have access to that information and make decisions. On the other hand, a decentralized banking system would be like Bitcoin, where anyone can mine, vote on the blockchain and download the transaction history. In Bitcoin's case, voting on the blockchain means approving and recording transactions. So going back to that decentralized aspect, there is no one single master copy of the blockchain. Rather, every computer that contributes to the network has their own copy of the blockchain, and they're constantly checking with all the other nodes to make sure everyone has the same record. Computers that contribute to the network are known as nodes. I wanna emphasize how key this is. Because each individual contributor has their own copy of the blockchain, there cannot be a single point of failure. This leads to an impressive layer of security. For example, if a hacker was trying to tamper with the blockchain, they couldn't just hack one computer on the server. They would need to get into every single computer. Okay, let's do a quick overview of what we talked about. Blockchain. So a block is a record of data. Computers work on a decentralized network to find the hash or the password to that block. When the computer finds the right solution, that block is added to the network and that computer receives a reward. After that block is added to the chain, its hash or its password is used to calculate that of the next block, which creates a chain of data that cannot be changed. And that is what blockchain technology is. So some examples of the biggest blockchains include Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum. Bitcoin is only a store of value where Ethereum is a little bit different. You can build decentralized apps. We will have more videos going in depth about that. I wanted this video to be a general overview of what blockchain technology is because it really is the heart of Web3. I hope this video was a helpful introduction. I know a big kind of part that we skipped out on was the mining. Like what is that math situation that's actually happening? And I'm gonna have a whole separate video just on that because there's a lot of different ways to do it. And I think it's most helpful to have these short videos about one specific topic and make a playlist where they can all live rather than just make one giant long video trying to tackle all these different topics. All right, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, consider giving it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.